Jeffreys Bay wasn't dubbed the town of dreams for nothing. The residents of this coastal town are still making dreams come true. Under COVID-19, when they're not running food projects to alleviate hunger, they offer their neighbors food for the soul, music. A group of local musicians came up with a musical route that residents could enjoy during stipulated exercise times. The Lockdown Music Trail. Each artist performed in their driveway and residents could plan their routes to enjoy various local performances. Michelle Willoff is a full-time musician and music teacher. She's also the organizer of the Lockdown Music Trail. Let's find out what inspired her to start the project. So the idea of the trail was to plot your own trail. You had your map and you said, okay, um, I've got about three live music venues close to my own home. So because there was so many little venues, the idea was for people to not stand at one venue, but have a next one to go to. During the lockdown, we weren't able to perform as musicians. And I thought, I'm going to have a little balcony concert on my balcony. <laughs> the neighbors all sat on their patios and they loved what they heard and they were quite uplifted as well. And I decided um, maybe I should do it during the exercise window in my driveway. And then the people that jog and walk past can hear the music and just be uplifted a bit. Um, and then my mind went one step further and I thought, why don't we include every musician that I can find and have them perform in their driveways so that all joggers and all walkers, wherever they may walk, can follow the music. And that's how the idea of the Lockdown Music Trail was born. Every mountain We only had this very specific window that we were able to do it in. We had a specific set of rules under lockdown four that didn't make any other format possible. So we had to be creative within the limits that we had. imagined myself walking down the streets of Jay Bay or jogging and hearing music in the distance and thinking, hey, let me go see what that's all about and following the music and then um, seeing somebody else say, oh, but around the corner there's some more music. And you walk around the corner and you follow the music and find this flautist playing from her balcony and you turn another corner and there's this beautiful, magnificent garden with a lady singing in her garden. Exactly what we were trying to do with this had been achieved. There was something to get up for on Saturday morning. We already had this community WhatsApp group. Um, so I proposed my idea to those people and said they can spread it around to people who aren't on the WhatsApp group yet. And um, I got uh, responses from the most bizarre and wonderful people. I was thankful for the community picking up on it so quickly and spreading the news so quickly, responding in such a positive way to support the musicians. But also, I was satisfied and thankful for the musicians that put themselves out there and giving something for free for the benefit of other people.
was a way for the Jeffreys Bay musicians to bring live music back to the community. <laughs> Neighbours who never knew one another now friendly greet each other in the street. It's clear that restrictions cultivate creativity and that creativity cannot be put behind lock and key. Sonia Catherine White, reporting from Jeffreys Bay.